So you can throw balls out the back of the cup with both a pro and an elite sidearm. Elite's better really for most adult players because it still grips it tight enough to get a nice bit of action on the ball, keep a bit of pace going down as well. So you can either use it to mimic a slower ball in the middle of your seam up practice, or actually just do it regularly, gives you a good uh, approximation of a spin bowler's trajectory. Releasing the ball out the back of the cup doesn't actually make it rag sideways, but it does impart a lot of top spin on the ball and replicates the trajectory of a good spin bowler. Selecting the right ball is important for throwing out the back of the cup. New, shiny or small balls don't tend to work as well. Select something that's still quite hard but has had the lacquer knocked off it. When throwing normal seam up from the sidearm, oh, using multiple nice balls one. is a good way of getting the batter hitting a lot of shots. Variation from different balls will be noticeable, but not more than the variations yep. one can expect in a game. However, when throwing out the back, the feel of the ball is crucial, and it's better to use just one ball that suits well and will allow muscle memory to let you know when and where to release it. I tend to grip the sidearm a bit higher up the handle when throwing spin, Keeping the elbow level with your shoulder is important, and then just bring the wrist through with some force to release the ball. You'll find it possible to adjust flight and throw with more or less air once you get the feel for the release point.